How to play hide and seek alone. Playing hide and seek alone is quite popular in various parts of Asia. Those who have tried it report that it actually works and that they felt their lives were threatened. You will need a doll legs. The doll serves as a place for the spirit to enter. Therefore, it is advised that you will not use a human doll, or a doll that you really like, because there's a great chance that the spirit will not leave the doll. Rice. The spirit that eats this offering is said to grow stronger. Red thread. This symbolizes blood and acts of restraint. Something from your body. Fingernails are the most commonly used, but some use their own blood, skin, hair, etc. Don't use somebody else's body parts, or else it becomes a curse. Weapon. Something to stab the doll with so that you can anger it. Real knives are dangerous, so most people use pencils or needles. Salt water or alcohol. Without this, the game won't end. This material is used to get rid of the spirit. A hiding place, of course. A name. Given the spirit, a name is the most powerful thing a human can give. Names give spirits great power. Step 1. Cut the doll and replace its insides with rice. Step 2. Place something from your body into the doll. Step 3. Wrap the doll with the red thread. As if to hinder it. Step 4. In a bathroom, pour water into a large wash bin and find some place to hide. Step 5. Place a cup of salt water in the place just before starting the game. To play. Start at 3 a.m., because this is the time when spirits are most active. Give the doll a name. When the clock strikes 3, close your eyes and say, First tagger is... And then the doll's name. Say this three times. If you're talking to the doll, you must talk sternly. Go to the bathroom and place the doll in the wash bin. Turn off all the lights. Close your eyes and count to ten. Ready your weapon and head to the bathroom. Go to the doll and say, I found you! And then the doll's name. And stab the doll. Afterward, close your eyes and say again, Now, doll's name is it three times. Place the weapon next to the doll and go to your hiding place. You must lock the door as well as all other doors and windows. Drink the salt water, but do not swallow or spit it out. The salt water will protect you from the spirit. When you want to end the game, take any leftover salt water or alcohol and find the doll. Keep in mind that the doll may not be in the bathroom, and there have been instances of it being outside. When you find the doll, spray the salt water in your mouth on the doll, and do the same with the excess water that you have left. Close your eyes and shout, I win, I win, I win! The spirit in the doll will give up. And the game ends. It is advised to dispose of the doll by burning it. Important to note, keep the game under two hours. After two hours, the spirit in the doll will be too strong to be removed. You must play alone. The more people there are, the higher chances of someone getting possessed. Don't go outside. When hiding, be 
silent. Turn off all electronics before starting. When running away, don't look back. Also, don't fall asleep while playing. The doll might stab you. When discovered by the doll, you can get a small wound or even get possessed. If found by the doll, be careful because your weapon will be somewhere on the floor or in your pocket. After the game is over, it's important to lean up properly. Be sure to put salt on every corner of the house, especially places where you put the doll and where you found it. Salt is said to scare away spirits. People who have played have reported some of the following events that usually take place while playing. TV changing channels on its own. Perfectly normal lights flickering. Doors opening and closing. And hearing the sounds of laughter. <laughs> <laughs>